Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to your 14th tutorial in the Intermediate Algebra Playlist. In this tutorial, I'm going to be explaining how to convert percentages into fractions and how to convert a percentage into decimal form. So in order to convert a percentage into a fraction, we realize that x percent of something can be rewritten as x divided by 100. So for example, if we're dealing with 25%, 25 would be our x, and so we can simply rewrite that as 25 divided by 100. And 25 divided by 100 can reduce. 25 is equal to 1 times 25, and 100 is equal to 4 times 25. 25 over 25 cancels, giving us the remaining 1 fourth as our fraction. So here we've shown that 25% can be rewritten as a fraction, and it's equal to the fraction 1 fourth. So how do we convert 25% into a decimal? Well, if we write the number 25 here, it doesn't have a decimal point, but if we were to put one there, it would go right here. We usually just don't write it, but it, it's right there. That's where we would put it if we were to. And so we can write 25 as 25 point, and then put the percentage sign there. So this is really still 25%. So to convert it into a decimal, we simply take that decimal point and move it two units to the left. So one, 2 puts it in front of the 2. And so we moved it 2 units to the left, and then we get rid of the percent sign. So 25% can be rewritten as a decimal, 0.25. And if we were to plug this into our calculator, 1 divided by 4 is equal to 0.25. So here's three different ways that you can write the number 25%. So let's do a little bit more challenging example here. Let's say that we have 35 and 1 half percent. Well, the first thing we want to do to convert this to a fraction is we want to put the 35 and 1 half into a different form. So we can rewrite this as 35 plus 1 half, and then the percent of all that. And now what we want to do is we want to put this as some number over 2 so that we can add these two together. So we're going to get the same common denominator here, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to multiply the number 35 by the number 1. And we're choosing 2 divided by 2, that equals 1, so we're going to multiply it by that, that's our number 1. And then we're going to divide it by 1 because that doesn't change anything. So what I've done here is I'm still left with the number 35. 35 divided by 1 is still 35, and 35 times 1 equals 35. And then we're adding that to the 1 half and taking the percent of all that. 35 times 2 is 70. 1 times 2 is 2. And then we're adding our second term, 1 half, putting the percent on the outside. And now we have two fractions with the same common denominator, so we simply add the numerators together. This becomes 70 plus 1, which is 71, over the common denominator of 2 percent. So now this is our x in that form that I had up here. I erased it, but it looked like this. x percent equals x over 100. So 71 over 2 is our x. So this can be rewritten as 71 divided by 2 divided by 100. So a fraction divided by 100. And we can actually make the denominator into a fraction here by dividing it by 1. So now we simply have a fraction of fractions. And we can solve this problem by rewriting it as a multiplication problem by inverting this denominator here. We flip the denominator. So we rewrite the numerator here, 71 divided by 2. And instead of dividing it by 100 over 1, we multiply it by 1 over 100. So now we have 71 times 1 is equal to 71 and 2 times 100 is equal to 200. So we've converted 35 and 1 half percent into the fraction 71 over 200. So let me go ahead and just rewrite that next to the 35 and a half percent here. 35 and 1 half percent is equal to 71 over 200. So now what we want to do is we want to rewrite this in decimal form. So we're just going to rewrite 35 and 1 half percent. And 
we're going to rewrite this as 35 plus 1 half percent again. And then realize that 1 divided by 2 gives us the decimal 0 0.5. So this can be rewritten as 35 plus 0.5 percent. And 35 plus 0.5 is simply 35.5. So now what we do to change this into decimal form is we simply move the decimal place two units to the left and get rid of the percent sign. One, two, puts it right there. So we have 0.355 and we get rid of the percentage sign. And so this is equivalent to our original expression 35 and 1 half. And you can actually um, take 71 divided by 200 plug it into your calculator and you'll get the answer 0.355. So anyway, that's how you convert percentages into fractions and into decimal form. I hope you've enjoyed this video and stay tuned for some more uh, math tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. Thanks for watching, you guys have a great day and don't forget to subscribe.